Hello, hello, and welcome back once more to the library is open. So I hope you brought your library cards, darlings. I really hope you have, because I'm going to have to start cracking down. There's rules. <laughs> there may be penalties. I'm kidding. Uh, and welcome to this sort of very special episode in the sense that uh, it's something I promised to do for a while. Uh, quite a few people have asked about this in the comments and sort of gently, very gently uh, said that it's something they would like to see, which I absolutely agree with. And I have been uh, meaning to make and upload this for a while. So that's what I shall do, which is to say that today we are going on a magical mystery tour, if you will of my bookshelves so that you can see a little bit about how I arrange my books, if there's any kind of system, spoiler, not really, and um, you know you can really sort of poke around the uh, the nooks and crannies, if you will, of my literary life. Oh, promising. Um, so hopefully that'll be interesting and uh, if nothing else I'm sure your bookshelves are much better organised so you can judge me like that vicariously. So without further ado, let's head into my bedroom, which is that away, and uh, begin the tour. Okay, so let's start. So this is my room, where I store the majority of my books. There are a couple elsewhere in the house, but um, they're things that are in like sort of semi-storage. So I'd love to say that I have a proper system, but I don't. I have tried, as you'll see from this shelf. So this sort of top shelf is very um, sort of crime based primarily. So we've got like Alexander McCall Smith there. Um, then my sort of Agatha Christie. I'd love to have a full collection, but unfortunately I don't. Um, you see there a uh, some paraphernalia from shows that I've been in and stuff like that in my professional career. My alumni mug there from uh, drama school. Um, what else have we got? So yeah, that's my MC Beaton stuff, uh, lots of cosy crime, things like that. And uh, Mrs. Jeffries by Emily Brightwell. Um, some Nicola Upsons there. You see, I should keep them all in order, but I really haven't. But to be fair, this is majority crime one way or the other. Um, although we have got the uh, Armist of Mulpins Tales of the City there and some stuff by Charlene Harris, which is, I guess, more supernatural, but... Yeah, so for the most part this is crime, with a couple of additions. <laughs> My Viva Forever Teddy there from the uh, ill-fated Spice Girls musical. Bless it. <clears throat> okay, so moving down uh, to the shelf underneath. Um, we have some sort of YA, I guess, fantasy fiction there. Um, we've got Cassandra Clare. I don't read an awful lot, as you'll know from the channel, of YA fantasy fiction, but... I do have a soft spot for the Mortal Instruments series and its sequels. Uh, these are more varied, so these are more the uh, newer things that I've sort of acquired, as it were. So there's a lot of hardbacks there and, and new things um, in terms of, um, you know, they haven't been put in a particular order. At some point, I will do an order of, um, of my shells and try to put them into genres and stuff, but I do know myself very well. That's my troll. Do you like that's vintage? Um, got some tr the True Blood series here. Well, it was called True Blood on TV. Um, that's the Charlene Harris, um, Suki Stackhouse novels, which I have a massive soft spot for. And then moving along again, some more stuff that I've recently read. Um, which is you'll have seen some of them reviewed on the channel and some of them not. So that's my first shelf anyway, so um, I'm going to move you down ever so slightly so we're still in the same vicinity. This is right next to my bed for reference. Uh, lots of drag stuff there by the way. Uh, so this is a sort of overspill pile if you will, and again these are in no particular order. Um, I tend to put maybe, I guess, newer stuff here on these piles, um, possibly. Although that may not be true. Um, so there's quite a wide variety of both fiction and non-fiction there. Also some stuff for work. So there's plays there and things like that. Um, and they are stacked too deep, as you can see. Uh, because I have a lot of books, even after I did uh, an unhaul, which if it hasn't been on the channel yet, then it will be, will be very soon. But, so that's that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to swing you around now. There's my delightful uh, window. Ah. 
and come up to my other shelf. Uh, again, this was an attempt at theming. Uh, obviously not here, because I've got some more hardbacks propping up the end, but that's more um, um, necessity than design, because I needed something to keep everything not falling off the end, as you can see. So you've got some more... Um, more recent acquisitions there but also we have a lot of my stuff for work so you'll see here a lot of play scripts uh, i've got the crucible there for instance uh martin kremp um more plays here more technical things about theater there's my absolute favorite play in the world um arcadia by tom stoppard which is wonderful and then it sort of loses steam as we go up to some extra stuff you got more crime there um, Pericles there, which I was in a few years ago, which is nice. Uh, and then moving along, a sort of smorgasbord, if you will, decorated with teddies, of various fictions. Um, again, some more work stuff. There's the Marisade there by Peter Weiss, which is a great piece of theatre. Uh, Into the Woods. Um, and then, as I say, it sort of peters out as we get to the end. Um, although, again, it kind of picks up steam again at this end because we've got um, sort of technical theatre books that I um, that I use for work. So I've got Uta Hagen there, Challenge for the Actor. Uh, we've got uh, Women in Shakespeare, Theatre World, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so moving down from there, we've got a sort of continuation. It's a little sweep, if you will. Um, Moving across here, which you can't see completely because it is sort of covered, but I'll go around the back there in a minute. Uh, these are all the... Oh, that's quite interesting. These are all the plays I was in at drama school. Uh, so it's got Manuscript there, Cripple of Inishman, Twelve Angry Men, Lovely Bit of Midsummer Night's Dream, A uh, Picture of Dorian Gray, which is nice, uh, Year of the King there, Anthony Sher, which is... Um, a great book for the actor uh, about creating a character and developing a role. Um, I'll swing you round like this um, as we come up on these two sort of piles um, here, which are things that there's a combination. So the top here is uh, things that I've either read recently or featured on the channel um, and just put to one side. Uh, you might recognize some of the titles. Um, there are also things that I sort of mentally want to keep out because I've got a reference to use from them, maybe for work or for my own writing um, or something like that. Or just things that I, you know, I just need to be able to access them fairly quickly. Uh, there we go. What else we got here? More work stuff. Uh, some stuff on um, feminism here from my dissertation. Uh, Z. Um, which I did uh, on sort of, like, it's most slightly more complicated, but like gender roles, which, and uh, the idea of identity and queerness and so on and so forth, both for my BA and for my MA. So that's why they're there. Uh, and they are also, it goes uh, behind here as well, as I promised. There's the the rest of that that shelf, a little bit, little bit more drag, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of spritz, darling. <laughs> um, so that's there. Um, moving down to these shelves, which is the last official bookcase, as it were. So this top shelf, I have managed to keep in thematic order, which is all uh, work-related things. Um, completely loads and loads of play texts. Um, what have we got at the bottom there? That's Confirmation by the fantastic uh, Chris Thorpe, who's a lovely guy. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. so it goes from anywhere from like Euripides to um, Shakespeare through to you know more modern stuff. Sepia and Song that I've kept that since I was at school and I was in my GCSE year, which is lovely. Uh, Glee Club, I did a piece from that for my showcase from drama school. Um, the Dresser, one of my audition pieces, Sunday in the Park with George, which is my favorite musical. Um, so yeah, that's the players. And then moving down to this next shelf, I feel like I can cover these in two shelves, as it were, in one. Uh, so this is where I store my comics. So you may not know because I don't mention it a lot, but I do follow, I don't want to say several, but like, I think it's about four um, comic series, sort of religiously, if you will. Uh, so I follow Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel and Spike, um, 
and then there's two Power Rangers series as well. So that's a couple of years worth of those comics. Some of them I have in like the mass, um, sorry, collected um, editions, and then some are just singular comics. And and I uh, go like to keep hold of those. And there's more down there, uh, along with some books and. Uh, Little zoom in there for a play I was in a few years ago in London and Edinburgh. A little snapshot that I like to keep by me from Good Times. John Hanna there from Hollywood's The Mummy and Four Weddings. He's a lovely man, great actor. Um, and then finally at this bottom shelf we have, again, a bit of everything but more. Maybe a bit of fantasy and comfort reads as well. We've got Kim Harrison's Rachel Morgan series there, which is sort of supernatural, adult. Again, not a massively favourite genre of mine, but uh, this is this is a really good one. And some Sophie Kinsella there, because I like a comfort read as well, uh, which is not meant to be a criticism. I think Sophie Kinsella's Shopaholic series is hilarious. Um, so I keep that by. And then over here we have, amidst, amidst a rather nice kaftan, um, just some more books that have either been read in a wedding ready sorry to be donated or haven't been read yet or are going to be featured in a video at some point i have a lot of sort of pots on the stove as it were a uh, point out there magica by clive barker which was recommended to me by the fabulous paul from those vegan guys uh so that's nice i think it's lovely when we can you know share a book with friends and then bond over it so that's that Oof, take a breath. Okay, we're nearly there now, I promise. Just had to stop and give myself a little break there. I can only imagine how you feel. Uh, so these are more um, sort of things that are potential videos or stuff that I haven't got around to, you know, featuring yet and stuff. Uh, and also things that I've been gifted, which is lovely. Uh, they go back a little bit. These are slightly older. Uh, you see there's some uh, folders back there. Uh, which features all my sheet music that I take to auditions and stuff like that. Um, which is lovely. A uh, little Ikea table. Not product placement. Not product placement. They don't pay me. So that's nice. And these are also stuff as well from like the library at work as well. Uh, sort of textbooks and theoretical things that I'm teaching on this year. Slash last year. Slash forever. And last, uh, the very last now, you see, see this is what a book where I am, I've got my uh, books open there. This is actually a work thing, I was just consulting, this is like my bible for acting. So Uta Hagen, respect for acting, and you can see it's very well loved. Had this from being a student and I still use it now. Uh, and these, here we are, are the very last sort of, I say the very last, there's some up there. A little rainbow flag there, lovely, and the trans flag. Gorgeous. Um, so these are things usually I put on here that I... Uh, well, let's face it, let's not come up with a mystical reason. I don't have any other room for them right now at this moment. I've um, got a lot of uh, my audio books there that I have on CD that are not just on devices. Um, and these are also things that I have either been looking at again recently and, and just like put on the side call that there for Fat Gay Vegan. A um, bit of Freud there from my masters, which is lovely, um, depending on how you feel about that. Um, and other stuff that I read in May and May year as well. Oops, sorry for that shadow there. So that's that. And then up there, as I briefly showed you just then, next to my Surrealist Clock, are um, the books that I featured most recently on my channel are all considered doing that. So they sort of go up there as I'm sort of processing and um, finding a permanent home for them, as it were. Um, very briefly down, that's all my CDs from like shows and stuff like that, uh, which again is, let's say it's work. Let's just say it's work and not my other obsession, the theatre. <laughs> So there you go, my darlings. A very quick last sweep of the room, just to show you it in its entirety. Purple rain. Not purple rain at all. Don't be daft, Stuart. There we go. And, and that's us. So I hope you've enjoyed that little tour of my uh, somewhat chaotic bookshelves. 
And there we have it. That was a tour of my bookshelves. Now, don't you feel better about yourself? I think it's very clear that the books control me and not vice versa. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Help me. No, I'm kidding. Um, as I say, you know, I will eventually get organised. Uh, it is my plan for the next couple of months to put everything in, like, genre order. Uh, genre order. Um, into genre groupings and to sort of uh, try and curate things a little better just so it's easier for me. But at the same time, there is something I love about being surrounded with all those books. It's like sleeping in a room full of ideas, which I kind of, I kind of love. So, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, do let me know down below in the comments if you did. Do let me know if you're judging me. Uh, don't worry, I judge myself. Um, and maybe sound off about how you store your books. You know, do you have a particular system? Um, do you read and then get rid of your books? Which is to say, pass them on to someone else. Are there things that you, um, you know absolutely have to keep in a special place you know sort of very particular books that you that you value very highly um not that we shouldn't value them all but you know what i mean uh so yeah i'd love to read your responses and uh do let me know what you think as i say uh so the library is now closed as is my magical mystery tour of my bookshelf so put that library guard somewhere safe uh you take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video until then mwah.